Hello everybody, my name is Davis and welcome back to another video and today we are back for part 3 of our 0 to $100,000 without using jobs in Bloxburg challenge. Now between last episode and this episode we did not gain any subs so luckily I don't have to give away 100 bucks. But if you want to make me have to give away 100 bucks then make sure to subscribe. So anyways, uh, last time we left off with about 1000 bucks and then obviously today we got our daily bonus and we had the shovel here and I was doing the shovel method a lot. And I found out that the planting certain flowers doesn't work to sell them. So today I actually have a bit of a different strategy and it doesn't have anything to do with the shovel method or anything else like that. Today I'm going to be trying to build my own restaurant, but it's going to be pretty hard considering that I only have like a thousand bucks to do it with. But hopefully I can make like a tiny restaurant and then put a table outdoors or something. And then I'm going to try and get into a neighborhood which can hold up to 50 people so that way maybe I can get some more customers. I don't know. This is my first time building in Bloxburg on a computer, so I'm I'm probably not gonna this is probably gonna take a bit I cannot drag the counters this is literally making me put down a whole new counter so there goes a hundred bucks oh yikes a fridge is 500 bucks I'm mean, gonna have to do the shovel method for a little bit to get a bit more money because things are uh, pretty expensive now this restaurant's gonna be kind of interesting it's not gonna be a very good restaurant because we don't have the kind of budget for that but I think it's just enough to make people to want to buy from it but like but I'm not even gonna put like a floor in it because the counters make it kind of glitchy and also that's really expensive just to put flooring in honestly I think all I need now is a stove and then a couple of tables outdoors maybe and then I'll be done with it obviously I'll paint it and stuff probably but yeah I think I'm almost done with it I really think this is gonna work because sometimes people can be really generous in this game as opposed to just making you know the same amount of money every single time I do something I might get more from certain people but then again it also may be harder to find customers so I don't really know i'm just gonna kind of see how this works out but i have run restaurants before in this game and uh it's not too hard i've also run hotels and several other businesses but yeah i think that i should be able to pull this off but the thing about the restaurants i've done before in this game is that those were actually good restaurants this is gonna be kind of uh the lowest that we can go budget wise pretty much it just removed a pile of dirt instead of placing one great why is it removing the dirt okay thank you i guess i was just getting too close to the other dirt and it thought i was trying to remove it oh yikes that wasn't even enough to buy an oven yet this is kind of a high risk high reward play here because we're spending a lot of money on this but also i think it's a very good chance that we're gonna make a profit off of this because a lot of people will tip whenever they go to somebody else's restaurant in the game so i think that that's gonna help us out a lot because obviously the food's not gonna be like 200 dollars or something crazy but i think if people do one big orders and two tip then things should turn out pretty nicely also my cooking level on this account isn't that high um i did use an account that i have used before for this challenge but the stats aren't too high now you may be wondering davis why didn't you just start up a new account so that you wouldn't have it oh my gosh there's a fly on the mic anyways you may be wondering davis why didn't you just make a new account to play on here so that you wouldn't have any skills well, uh, you have to pay for Bloxburg. It's about 100 Robux, and I didn't have any Robux. Now, obviously, this is the cheapest that you can ever possibly go with making a restaurant in this game. But I'm just going to join a neighborhood that's not completely full so that I can actually get a plot. And see, I'm going to like say in chat, like, hi, do you want to come to my restaurant? And I'll see how many people do come. But I might not be able to serve them any food just because of, like, this is the most minimal design that you can do. Oh, look at all those people. It honestly might be a bit hard to get a plot on here, though, because all the plots might be taken up, but I can try a couple times. But yeah, normal servers can only have, hold 12 people, but neighborhoods can hold up to 50, so that's why there's so many people on here. Ah, oh, shoot, all the plots are occupied. Oh, wait, man, I think I just got a plot. That's nice. Okay, so unfortunately, it seems like nobody in this neighborhood wants to come to the restaurant, not because they've seen it or anything, but because I just can't get anybody to want to come over here because I've tried to advertise in chat, but it just seemed like nobody cares. So I think I'm just gonna go around joining different servers. That neighborhood that I was in anyways only had about 17 people, so it wasn't much more than a normal server anyways. 
Why does nobody want to come to my restaurant? Okay, we got somebody. Okay, this person thinks that I don't know how to get a job in this game, but unfortunately I can't do that. Oh, okay, we actually got a customer. Does this person want? Oh, let's go, two burgers. Oh, somebody else is coming. Can't tell if they're here for the restaurant or what? Because I mean, at first glance, it's not totally obvious that this is a restaurant. All right, there we go. We got this person some burgers. What the heck? How did this person grab my shovel? That person just left without paying. Okay, well, I just got scammed. At least this girl paid, but the other one didn't. So I just lost money from that because it takes $20 to cook five burgers. This person wanted three. The other person wanted two. The other person didn't even pay, so I just lost out on $5 by that transaction. Are you kidding me? All right, it is the next day in real life, and I'm pretty sure last time I left off after that person scammed me, so that's not great. Oh, but look at that, though. Since it's the next day in real life, I get my $200 bonus. That's pretty sweet. Okay, we got a customer. Should probably get these dirty dishes out of the way. All right, I said in chat that I'm a beginner, so hopefully this person doesn't just light into my terrible restaurant. I mean, that's not the real reason, but I can't just say, oh yeah, I'm doing a challenge where I try to go from zero to 100,000. Oh, okay, yep. Well, that kind of sucks. It looks like we're not gonna make many sales with this kind of bad restaurant. So I'm going to do a ton, and I mean a ton of shovel work. Um, I'm probably gonna watch some YouTube while I do it, so I probably won't record it, but I will get back to you guys once I'm ready to do something in, but I'm telling you, I wanna get up to, like, so much money with this shovel method right here. I'm gonna be doing it for quite a while. Alright, I did a ton of the shovel method and managed to get up to $1,005, and now I think it's about time that I add a floor and a roof to this and add a table outside so that people can actually eat, or maybe put some chairs here and make it kind of like a bar. I don't know, but anything would be better than this, like, four-walled piece of trash, so I'm gonna work on this. I don't know why it makes me do the manual placing. It's probably because I have counters here instead of a wall, but this is taking me forever to figure out. Okay, it took me a while to build this just because of how bad I am at playing this on computer, but I think this looks okay. It's definitely still a work in progress, and I must have accidentally not put a spot of a floor in there. That kind of stinks. I struggle with that a lot. But you've also got to remember that I have such a tiny budget to build this thing that I think it turned out okay. Um, obviously, I couldn't really make it any more fancy because otherwise, I mean, I already only have $300 left. So this probably wasn't the smartest idea to make it, like, paint the walls and everything. But I think that this is going to attract a lot more customers than it ever would have before. And like I said, this is the first time that I'm playing this game on computer in this series. So don't judge me if the building's terrible. Well, there is one thing that I was going to add that I forgot about. No, I probably should not have just done that because that one little open sign was $160, but whatever. Okay, so now we're gonna see if we can get any customers to come over here. Uh, I think it's probably a good idea to join a neighborhood to do this with more people. Seriously, nobody wants to come? What? I threw a party and so many people joined it. It's so glitchy with how many people there are. This person just said, today is your lucky day. Uh, this person just gave me 10 bucks and they didn't even order any food. I did not expect to be this busy already. All right, we gotta make a salad. Oh, this person said they just came to give me money. I guess that's nice. All right, $10, please. Okay, this person's using the excuse that they're starving, but I'm not gonna take that. Okay, if this person will pay four, then that's fine. This person gave me 20. All right, now we gotta make a taco. All right, this person's tacos are ready. Just one, all right. I'd say that we're making some pretty good progress here. $10, please. Why is this person giving me their taco back? Oh, they're trying to donate and they accidentally click give taco. Oh, they gave me another tip, 15, nice. I just noticed I left a piece of dirt out in my yard earlier whenever I was selling them, so I'm gonna do that real quick. So while this may not be the most efficient money may, oh my gosh, okay, never mind. I'm not gonna talk about that yet. We got two more customers. Oh, maybe just one more. 
person wants a cake. I hope they're okay with a gelatin cake because my cooking level is not high enough to do a normal cake. Oh no. What are they doing? Are they paying me? Oh nice, 10 bucks. Shoot, we have to pay house bills. At least we don't have that many lights, so it's only 13 bucks. Okay, so anyways, as I was saying earlier, while this may not seem like the most efficient money-making method as of right now, I've run Bloxburg restaurants in the past, and I know that some people will randomly just be incredibly generous. For example, I had somebody donate to me $39,000 for one meal. So I think that it is extremely possible that we will be able to get to 100 k with using this method and the shovel method from now on. But of course, in the future, I'm still going to make other businesses anyways, because it's not very smart to rely on somebody giving me $40,000. But yeah, I think that uh, my point is, is that this is going to make me a lot more money than it seems like it is right now. So obviously we're at a loss this episode from where we started. But overall, I think we can turn this into a profit. And even if we can't, as long as we make half of our money back, we can just sell this restaurant and we'll get half the money that we spent building it. If you guys did enjoy this video, then make sure to subscribe. Because remember, every subscriber that I gained during the series, I have to give away $100. So yeah, that's going to make this pretty tricky, especially since right now... I I don't have too much money, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and peace.